Tony decided to take to the streets and catch alleged predators with his cell phone camera. He says he's caught many men who have later admitted to talking with and attempting to meet underage girls. Check this out. I got his ass. Who are you here to meet? Don't worry. You sure? Yeah. Want I show you a picture? Sure. Let me why. This isn't you? Yeah. That's you? Yeah. It's you, right? Yeah. What are you doing out here? How would that person say you were? What? How you're 44 years old? Yeah. How did that person say they were? So what is a 40 what is a 44 year old guy doing out here meeting a 15 year old? I'm recording you for yours and my safety. We got two choices. We got two choices. You can leave all you want. I'm letting you know all this goes to the district attorney's office. You weren't planning on doing anything, you wanted to hang out. Who hangs out with a 15 year old? Oh, that, what does that mean? You didn't say you. You want me to read the chat logs to you? I have the chat logs. Because you were talking, you were talking to me. You weren't talking to no fifteen-year-old girl. Do you know, yeah, but do you know what you're doing, whether you've done nothing or not, is a crime in New York City? I have no idea. You had no idea? You had no idea it was not okay to meet a 15-year-old girl? Right, I mean, I know it's been appropriate. Huh. Well, you know what? I hope the DA gets a hold of you. Because they will be getting a hold of you. That's what we got in our neighborhoods right here, ladies and gentlemen. People like that. He paid for somebody to watch his dog. So you didn't come out here for just lunch. You came out here for a lot more than lunch. You had somebody watch your dog? That's a 44-year-old man came out to meet a 15-year-old girl. Uh, we got a 57-year-old coming out to meet a 14-year-old. Real sick. You either sit and talk, or I can call PD down here. Okay. What are you doing down here? I was just going to film it. I was going to I'll just let you know. I'm, I'm, film. I'm filming you just for your safety, so you can't uh, say I did anything. You just come down and talk to me. I can leave. I don't care. Listen, nobody's here to hurt you. Okay. I'm letting you know that. Um, she came on to me. I... She, she did not come on to you. You know why? Because you were talking to me. Okay. So let's cut. All right, you asked a 14-year-old girl, you want to You think that's proper? You think that's right? It's not, right? You got kids? Yes, two. Two kids. If I did that to your kids, what would you do? I'd probably be the same probably way. Probably be the same way, right? Mm -hmm. Disgusting. Okay. I understand. You done this before? No. Nope. I swear to God, I've never done it. They all say that. No, I really am. You can hear a 14-year-old kid. Let's not nobody. Uh, no, to be honest, I probably would have. What would your wife do if she found out about this? She kill you, right? Mm -hmm. Are you a chief want to know about this, man? You're a fireman. Oh, he's a fireman too? You're a fireman? It's crazy. I'm watching these and I can't believe these men admit to you on camera what they're trying to do. They're cowards. You know, um, when you got a guy like me from Brooklyn, you know, I got a little size on me. Um, I'm gonna make you admit what you came out to do. That's just the way it's gonna be. My my wife said you're the the Steve Wilkos of the streets. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you're the originator of all this. I'm just following along. <laughs> what led you to do this type of thing? Uh, honestly, it was I was sitting in my van one day and and scrolling through my phone like most of us do, and uh, I popped up on a video. Um, and it was somebody, this was in the UK, somebody was exposing someone. And um, I didn't believe it. I said, there's no way that this is possible. Um, and I, I did my own research and... So when you, started, when you started doing it, how long before you caught, like, your first person? Same day. Same day? And, Same and day. at what age were you posing at at that time? Uh, I believe I was a 13-year-old. Um... 
And he was, I think he was in his 30s, 38 years old. He was in Brownsville. I was in the Pink Houses in Brooklyn Projects. If anybody knows Brooklyn, the Pink Houses is no joke. Um, but that's where he wanted to have sex with her in the stairwell. And 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 so when you when you how do you how do you put yourself out there on the internet? Like, do you put like I don't even know like what like what site you would go to? Like, how are you catching these men? Uh, we use a bunch of different platforms. Um, some are Roblox, they're video game apps that kids use. Um, a lot of them are, are dating apps. You know, um, your your average Tinder, uh, Facebook, stuff like that, social media. And and when when you're conversing with them, chatting with them, and you're posing as a 13, 14, old, 15 year old girl, they really have no idea that they're talking to a big burly man. Yeah, well, you know, I usually I try to you know let them know I'm not law enforcement. I'm not trying to play a cop. Right, um, and you're and not gonna know, you know, you're not gonna start stomping them, you know, either. No, yeah, I mean, and that took a while. It takes a lot. It takes a lot to to hold that in. I was just um, going to say, because people used to ask me that when I would do my show when it first started out the first, you know, 10 years or so. People were like, how do you control, how do you not stomp the crap out of them? And I, it is, I was just going to ask you that. How, when you, you know, these pervy guys, and you totally bust them out. And again, I still can't believe they're, they know you're recording them and they're admitting to this. How, how much does it take to hold you back from, you know, causing physical damage? Uh... It takes a lot. I, I got to remember myself. There's, there's a bigger, there's a bigger uh, picture here, and it's not my feelings. Um, the whole idea is, is trying to bring awareness, hopefully change laws, uh, and me and me bashing a guy's face in on Facebook Live doesn't make me look any better than him. <laughs> right. So. Um, and and we're, we're we're happy to hear that. Uh, have any of these guys ever challenged you? Wanted to get physical with you? Nah. No. None of them. Yeah. Um, nah, maybe one. I had one. He was kind of iffy, but I think he realized he was in the wrong, he was in the wrong place. Right. You know, my, my father was a Chicago policeman, and I was a Chicago policeman, and I said the greatest joy was going to work and catching the bad guy, right? Like, nabbing yeah. that guy and taking a bag off the street was such a, a, a feeling of personal satisfaction, and I'm, I'm exactly. sure that's what you're getting out of this. But I've always said, when you're, you know, I grew up in Chicago, right? We lived in neighborhoods. You can either be somebody that contributes to the neighborhood or somebody that is a negative in a neighborhood, causing problems. And, right. you know, maybe people don't like what you're doing, but you're not being a negative in the neighborhood. You're not, you know, causing vandalism, assaulting people, robbery, doing those things. Uh, but tell me, tell me about that, where you're getting criticism for doing what you're doing. Yeah, I've had a... Uh... Death threats. Uh, I've had people contact my job. Um, I had people that, at the time, the, the girl I was with, contact her job. Uh, doxing, um, you name it. With these videos that you're making, these uh, these situations that you're staging to lure these guys in, do you then post them on the internet where people can watch these things? Yeah, it's, it's all done live, so there can't be any editing. You can't say that I, you know, I altered this. I made you say this. Everything is done live. And you, and, and, it's and when, when yeah. people, what, when they send you, what, what are they saying to you? What, what, what's their criticism? You're not a cop. You shouldn't be doing this. And how do you know this guy was even there to do that? And what gives you this right? I've, I've heard it all. You know, let me tell you something. I'm proud of you. Um, you know, you're, you're standing up against the bad guy. Uh, would I recommend this for everybody? No. Uh, but, and, and that's why I was saying earlier, I, I also hope that you have things in your life. It sounds like you have two daughters. I'm sure they're a joy in your life. And people, that, you know, because when I do a show about child molesters all the time, I, I really need to find other things in my life that bring me joy, like my wife, my children. You know, I like to, you know, smoke a cigar, play poker, do those things. Because if you just focus on negative things in life, you'll go crazy and you'll become a depressed person and, and those a, things. It's, so, a, it's a dark, right, it's so, a dark world. It right, is, so you got to balance it out world. is what I'm saying. So listen, uh, I, I, I personally think you're doing a good thing, Tony. Be careful out there. And I oh. hope uh, we speak again and you'll update us on your adventures out there. Oh, well, thank you, Stephen. I appreciate you, man, for your show, for having people come on and and able to expose the ones that's done things to them too. It's a, it's, it's awesome, man. I really appreciate it. All right, Tony. I look forward to meeting you someday. You too, brother. Have a good one.